This is a Newsmax TV Money Report. I'm Kathleen Walter. Joining us is nationally recognized economic forecasting expert Joel Naroff. He is the president and founder of Naroff Economic Advisors, a strategic economic consulting firm advising companies across the country on the risks and opportunities that economic developments may have on the organization's operating environment. He's received numerous honors, including the Lawrence Klein Award for Blue Chip Forecasting Excellence in 2008. He was recognized as the Bloomberg Business News top economic forecaster that same year. Welcome to Newsmax TV, Joel. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. The jobs numbers out on Friday seem to be very positive. Do you see that a recovery is underway and will it be a strong recovery? Well, I think the recovery is on the way. I think we're beginning to see the end of the job losses. I wouldn't be surprised if that number moves up a little bit in December. But when it comes to the recovery, that's where I'm really concerned. I think there was a lot of damage that was done during this recession. The financial market collapse really hurt a lot of firms. And we're likely to see a recovery that's both slow in terms of economic growth and even more concern is that job gains may be very, very weak, at least through most of 2010. It seems that some economists predict we might have a double dip or a W recession again. Do you see that as a possibility? Well, that's always a possibility, but I really don't see that happening. I think what we're going to likely have is this sluggish recovery. But there's an awful lot of people who have been working through this recession and even the early parts of the recovery who are not spending money, who are really worried that they could still lose their jobs. As long as the job market firms and the numbers that we're getting now is telling me that it is beginning to firm, I suspect that they'll start spending and it's the consumer that will lead us forward and I think that that will really become more clear as we move through the first half of next year. Now there is a lot of talk that the other shoe has yet to drop on commercial real estate. The banks seem to be holding back a lot of foreclosures. Is there something the public is not being told about this economy right now? Well, clearly, there's a lot of problems that are still out there, and I think that's something that we have to really recognize. We are not out of it as far as the issues on commercial real estate. There's going to be a lot of foreclosures as far as residential real estate goes. If we do have weak job growth that I expect, then this slowly rising tide is not going to lift all boats and a lot of smaller to mid-sized businesses are going to have some problems. So while we're in the stage that the economy's begun to move forward, it doesn't mean that we're going to have a strong recovery and it doesn't mean that there might not be bumps in the road. So far, deflation seems to be strong, but many are warning of inflation. Warren Buffett has said to expect inflation. Do you see that as a concern? I think that there is going to be some additional pressures on prices. Um, we're looking at that already. Oil is really at levels that you would think this economy is booming along and it's likely to go higher as we move through 2010. A lot of other goods and commodity prices are beginning to move up. And when consumers start to spend more and even businesses might start investing a little bit more next year, uh, businesses might try and, and raise prices in order to get those earnings back up. But this is not going to be the 70s. High inflation could be something along the lines of three, three and a half percent, nothing close to double digits. Gold prices have been high. Where do you see that commodity going? And is the demand right now realistic? Well, I think, you know, we're seeing a lot of pressures on a number of different commodities. Uh, you know, oil prices are, are higher than anybody would have expected. And I wouldn't be surprised if sometime in 2010 oil breaks $100 a barrel again. I think that would be unfortunate because it'll further slow the economy. Uh, the, the price of gold has skyrocketed as people were fearful of inflation and the weaker dollar. But I, I think what we're going to see is on some of the outliers, gold or, or oil, some increases, but don't look for a lot of commodity prices to spike from this particular point. Gold prices seem to indicate a rapid and serious decline in the dollar. Just how low is the dollar going to go, do you think? Well, the dollar is weak right now. It's bouncing around a little bit. 
but I see the dollar continuing to slowly but steadily fall. And I don't think that's necessarily bad. The U.S. producers are becoming more competitive around the world as a result of that. Uh, we're not getting an awful lot of price inflation from imports uh, despite the decline in the dollar as the foreign producers really need to keep their prices fairly steady if they're going to maintain their, their uh, profit shares and their market shares in the U.S. Remember, we are the key market and if they can't make it here, they're going to have problems making it. So I, I, I think the dollar is going to continue to fall, but at a gradual pace and I think that's okay. Now it seems clear that Ben Bernanke will get the nod for a second term. Do you feel that he is the right man for the job? Well, Mr. Bernanke you know, has really two different uh, report cards. Clearly before the crisis hit, he wasn't overly on top of the issues. Uh, I think he got surprised, as much as many of us did get by, surprised by this, and really didn't take some of the actions that may have eased the problems. I don't think he could have prevented it from happening, but he wasn't on top of things. His performance since the crisis hit has been outstanding. And, and as a result of that, he's really taking us through a period of time that there was no playbook for. Uh, this was one of the worst crises we've ever seen, as bad a crisis, uh, except for maybe the Great Depression. And the fact that we're talking about growth now tells us that the actions he took worked, even if we might not have agreed with everything he's done. All right, last question. President Obama appears down on big business, Wall Street, the Chamber of Commerce, the insurance industry. Now he says he needs the private sector to generate jobs. Does he still have the support of the business sector? And what does he have to do to enlist their support? Well, I think the business sector does understand to no small extent the problems that Mr. Obama is facing. Clearly, it's the first year of an administration. He wants to get things done. He wants to correct a lot of the problems that are out there, things such as health care insurance, uh, financial regulation. And the first year, you try and do that. But the problem that the business sector is facing is that they hate uncertainty. And until we know what these regulations will look like, what the health care reform Form, if it does pass will look like, all these changes will look like, they don't like this period of time. I think once everything's done, they'll rally around because everybody knows it's going to take the private sector generating the jobs to get us out of this mess that we have been in and take this recovery from a sluggish recovery to a stronger recovery. And I think that ultimately will happen and the administration and the business sector will come together. All right, Joel Naroff, thanks so much. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thank you for watching the Newsmax TV Money Report. Sarah Palin's new book, Going Rogue in American Life, will be released on November 17th. You can be among the first to get your copy. Check out our incredible free offer for Sarah's new book. Just go to Newsmax.com and click on the top banner for this great offer. Act today.